Hello folks, this is Donna Gladfelter from the CAD Geek blog. What I'd like to do today is take a look at contextual ribbon tabs, or more specifically, how I can add some specific uh, contextual tabs of my own. So first and foremost, what are contextual ribbon tabs? Well, they're something brand new to AutoCAD 2010, and so by now you're probably familiar with these basic uh, tabs that we have along the top. Home, insert, annotate, that type of thing. However, when I select this external reference, for instance, I get this brand new external reference tab. So it only displays if I have an external reference selected and on it I have a number of tools very common to working with and managing external references. And so we see these tabs all throughout the software. However, there are a number of objects that you know, by default out of the box Autodesk has not provided us a contextual tab for. But that's not really a problem because I can go ahead and create those myself. So let's take a look at how we might do that. So I'm going to just flip over to a blank drawing that I've got here real quick. And just for purposes of discussion, I'm going to do a, a quick box here, and I'm going to go ahead and add a multi-leader to it. Give it some text. Oops. And so there I have a multi-leader. Now, when I select on this multi-leader, though, I don't get any tabs. So I get the quick properties bar, but that's about it. But wouldn't it be nice if I had a tab similar to that external reference tab to modify and work with multi-leaders. So let's see how we might do that. First and foremost, what I need to do is go into the CUI command or the Customize User Interface command. And so I get that beloved uh, Customize User Interface dialog box that comes up here. So a couple things that I need to do. First and foremost, whenever I'm doing customizations like this, I always like to do them to a partial CUI file. So it's a file outside of my main one. Again, it's just a little bit easier to back up in that type of thing. So again, we know with ribbons, I've got the tabs, I've got the panels, and then I've got the tools themselves. And so, just for essence of time here, I've already created a multi-leader tab. Again, I just right-clicked, did new tab here. And likewise, for purposes of time here as well, I created a new panel. Again, right-click panel will allow you to do that. Now on the panel, I need to go ahead and add the tools that I want. I've already added a few tools. Um, however, I might want to go ahead and add that collect tool, I think is the final one that's on the, uh, the little drop-down menu here under the annotate. So to do that, I'm gonna, since I already have a tab that already pretty much has what I want on it, I'm going to go ahead and browse to it. So again, I'm looking for Home, D, home 2D Annotation and the tools under this multi-leader um, command here. And what I want is to collect. So I'm just going to right-click and copy. And then browse down here to my tab and go ahead and paste it. So there I've got all the tools that are found under this little button here on the annotation tab. So what I need to do now is add this multi-leader modify panel to my multi-leader tab. And to do that, I'll just drag and drop it. So now I've gone ahead and I've assembled my multi-leader tab. Right now it just has one panel on it. I could add additional ones if I wanted to. But now what I need to do is go ahead and tell AutoCAD that whenever I select multi-leaders, I want this tab to come up. So to do that, I need to expand out this contextual tab states node here in the CUI editor. And you'll notice I have multi-leader block and multi-leader text selected. I'm going to go ahead and add um, this tab that I created to both. So to do that, I'm just going to select it and drag down and drop it on the block selected. And then I'll go ahead and repeat that same action once again. Oops, scrolled up too far. So again, here's that multi-leader tab again. I'm just going to drag it on down now to that text selected. So just to recap what I did, I built a brand new um, tab for myself called multi-leader. I created a brand new ribbon panel called multi-leader modify and I added the tools that I wanted to that panel, assembled it all together, and then I went ahead and by selecting on the tag, I dragged and dropped it onto the contextual tab state that I found in the CUI editor as well. So now when I hit OK, I'm taken back to AutoCAD, of course. And now, if I select on this, I get a multi-leader tab. So maybe I want to go ahead and add a new leader. So I can click on that button and add a new leader as I would like. So there you have it, a quick overview of contextual ribbon tabs and how to customize them to suit your needs. Again, this is Donna Gladfelter from the CAD Geek blog. See more tips like this at www.thecadgeek.com.